morning guys it's Tuesday morning and I went to go to work and I think my car got stolen so that's fun <sighs> We're just trying to, we called the cops and stuff, and so we're gonna go down to the, well, we're gonna do a little drive around to make sure that I maybe parked it somewhere else, because you park on the street every night. So we're gonna see if maybe I just brain farted and parked it somewhere I didn't know. Then Grayson's gonna take me to the, um, where are you going? Police station. And hopefully we have some answers there. I mean, right at this point, I'm kind of like, I hope they towed it or took it or something, but he said they didn't do any towings at this, like last night. So looks like, uh, and I just filled it with gas. That's almost what's making me the most mad. I just filled it and gave this guy a free getaway. If I would have left it, he would have got like to this, the lights and then would have, that's it. So that's our son, that's our Tuesday morning. Yay, yay. Well, guys, no luck. We were kind of hoping it would be impounded so that we could just pay and get it, yeah, right? I mean, the ideal situation is they got towed or impounded for some reason that you argue with them about. Be stupid that it got towed or impounded because it was legally parked and everything else. But you still hope for that because you at least could find it. But no luck. They stole my basketball. <laughs> Grayson's basketball's in the back seat. I think he's most worried about his basketball. I'm a dream catcher. <laughs> I had a dream catcher in my, uh, hanging on my rear view mirror that my sister brought me back from Alaska. And it's gone. And umbrellas, both of our umbrellas. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but, just never a convenient time for this to happen. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think uh, anybody would ever say it's convenient. Oh, how convenient. My car was stolen. <laughs> I know, but it's just sucky. <laughs> it is sucky. Oh, well. well, at least I have more time to study for my final today. Convenient? You were asking for it. No, I wasn't. Asking for more time to study. No, I wasn't asking for more time to study. I'm fine studying for just after t today. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hopefully I got that. 30 minute part. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. I think it might have been a little bit over. Free, be free, please be free. Oh, one dollar. Oh. <laughs> well, this is our Tuesday. So far, it's been a great day. <laughs> you know, it's just real life. It's just real life. You know, there are way worse things that could happen. Exactly. Way worse Great. things that could happen, and we'll be fine. I'm just sad because Gloria is my baby, and she might be stripped for parts by now. <laughs> and that's sad. <sighs> I'm so sad. <laughs> so we got like really good news from our insurance, and they're gonna help with a bunch of stuff. And so I was like looking to see like the price of or the value of my car, and I saw pictures of it, and I started crying <laughs> because. It's like my baby. It was the first car I ever had, and um, I get really attached to objects that aren't even alive, <laughs> like my car. Not like attached to it, like attached to something that is really has no value, but like it's my car, and I just, she was my friend. That's how, what I mean by attached. Like when we had to get rid of Grayson's car, it didn't even work anymore and he couldn't even move it to the other side of the road. And I almost cried when we got rid of it because it was like his car. And we went on our first date in his car and then now Gloria, and I'm so sad. It's so dumb. I get so attached because she was my baby and my first car ever. And she's stripped and sold for parts by now probably and I'm so sad. <sighs> but seriously, I'm just like, Grayson and I are healthy and safe and so that's all I really care about and it's literally just a car and it doesn't matter. Besides the fact that she's my bestie, it's okay. Um, you have to be kidding me right now. So I got my rental car and I come home. <sighs> I locked myself out of my apartment. It's just one of those days. I don't. I have, I I can only laugh right now. Seriously, like what the heck? 
It's because my house key is on my car key, and why would I need my car key? Because my car's not here. Uh, <laughs> this day! What do they say? When it rains, it pours. It's pouring in more ways than one. Ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, this is ridiculous. I made it inside. Yay, 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 yay. My, um, our building manager was here and she had the master key. I feel like I might've waken her up from a nap, so I'm sorry, but I'm inside and I'm so happy because I would've started crying if I was stuck outside because I have a final tomorrow and I've been studying and I have really have to continue studying but all my stuff's inside so <laughs> oh my goodness oh hey guys um oh I forgot my glasses today oh man oh Elise, okay, Elise, is, Elise is so hot oh my gosh Sorry, oh wait I'm better without my glasses so wait what who said that I don't know, that was like one video I didn't have my glasses on, everybody was freaking out. They're really? Like, oh, you look so much better without glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's always fun to say. Um, didn't, like, say I think you look words, cool with your glasses. But that was basically... Honestly, I've always wanted to wear glasses need to get new ones. because I felt like I could look really cool and like kind of hip and groovy. You need to get fake ones. But I have 2015 vision, so I'm just really amazing. Look, I, wore, <laughs> I wore fake ones for like two years. And that's then, true. I was like... And then it made your eyes so bad, you were like, actually, oh. Yeah. Did it really? No, it was just glass in there. You, when did you notice that you actually had bad eyes? Uh, when I was sitting in church and I couldn't see Tim Chaddock because I was like, well, I was like. Wait, you got glasses when you were here? Yeah, it wasn't until we got here. It was when like when we were living together? Yeah, I still worked at Apple. It oh. was like our first few months <laughs> here. I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, we were at church and like we, were, we always kind of sat further back. And I remember like, kind of like, man, it looks a little bit different. And then I was doing like a one eye checking each you know and through one eye it was like i could see better than when i had both open and then the other one was like pretty blurry and your other and one was like mm, like just poop good. you basically had, had a poop to eye come to the realization that your body starts to fill you <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it you just go get glasses but do all old people get glasses no it just it's just like the first time i ever had something that like died my body wasn't functioning at its 100% capacity. Mm, your body wasn't on 100, huh? You know, just like how now you've got some gut going. Like, your body's just not right. operating. No, but I don't know. <laughs> like, body on 100. 100. 100? Um, yeah. No, I'm not stopped up. Anyways, um, Grace. Yeah. Culver Hotel. Culver Hotel. Y'all want to join? Party. Guys, Culver Hotel is a special place because... You could always just go to our house because I got old fashioned materials there. Oh. Actually, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's friendly. Oh no, I didn't mean that, but no. yeah. We're gonna have an old fashioned because we like old fashions. Fact. I got him into drinking old fashioned, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm actually rubbing off on you for once. I went to, I got home yesterday because I bought everything yesterday and I went to Sprouts as well to get a few groceries and Elise was like, how much was all that stuff? And I was like, oh, it was like, you know, 20 bucks. And then my other bag from Bethmo was <laughs> big and she was like- More than 20? What, what was the bill from over there? And I was like, mm. <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> hey, you gotta have some good good. That Michael Jackson bad. What? Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Ask an do, 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 do. It's the part of the show where I read some tweets and say some ridiculous things. <laughs> no different than any other part hey, of the show. Except <laughs> the reading the tweets part. I don't want to read tweets. Yeah. As you uh, saw. Uh, sorry, that was a short video. We just didn't vlog much. Yeah, it was, it was a, a crazy week. It was pretty um, crazy week. <laughs> but, good news. Well, end of next week, but maybe some of the footage may get into next week's vlog. Um, we'll be back in Kansas City with the Nibnals, chilling. And then the following, like, ten days we're there, so be plenty of footage. I'm sure we'll have so much like we did last time that you're gonna get extra videos because yeah keep follow us on Twitter so you like, so you know for posting pictures. actually what to do follow me on our Facebook page because I have a Facebook page now yeah. like or we have I've always had one we have like a channel Facebook page is what I mean yeah and I'll post stuff there as well as Twitter at meet the Knowles at Elise Knoll Facebook.com slash meet the Knowles plugs are done go ready uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. 
You want me to do mine first? Yeah. Okay. First up, at Gigi Marie 25, she's the 25th one. What was your first reaction when at the Knife Knowles asked you guys to vlog? Bah! Funny, no one would ever watch bah! us. That's what Bad I said. Thing. No one would ever want to watch our lives. All we do is sit here and watch friends and eat pizza. But that's exactly what Brittany said. Yeah. And now look. Yeah. I mean, truth be told, they've asked us for about as long as you guys have been asking us. Um, yeah. So it was just kind of like, eh, I don't know, it's not really my thing, it's not really my thing. And then it kind of turned into like, now we were, yeah, together and kind of like doing our own thing. And her family is also away. So more than anything, it was a way for us to start putting our lives on the internet for them to keep up with us, for our own family too. And then as a byproduct, you guys get to enjoy our shenanigans. Nice to say. At All, <laughs> what's your favorite thing about marriage? Parentheses. Other, other than, than dot dot dot, you know, know. <laughs> crying emoji, smiling, laughing face emoji. Well, other than that, I mean, there's not much. Else. I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. Um, favorite thing, go. Favorite thing about marriage. I Waking up to my smelly farts. Yeah, I mean that's pretty spectacular. <laughs> that's okay. I just fart right back at you. That's true. Um, I I just like being able to spend so much time with him. And even though like right now I'm in school and it's been really crazy but even like at night because when we were engaged in dating we chose to not live together and not sleep over at each other's houses and so every night it was like we'd hang out for a little bit and then like okay good night and you'd have to go to his apartment and I'd stay at mine or whatever and so being able to like say good night and then roll over and go to sleep is like the best thing ever um, but I think also we just learned so much about each other and about ourselves through marriage too which is been really great. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. What's your favorite thing besides you know? Uh, um, yeah, I think um, you just you do learn so much about yourself that um, really makes you a better person uh, because you cut out a lot of just bad habits that you had. Um, just like physical habits, but just um, you find out things about yourself that really aren't that great, and um, you learn a lot of humility and learn how to like sacrifice those kind of things and put them aside. You realize that there's way more uh, important things than you, know, you feeling like so great all the time or you thinking you're like, the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Putting Putting your own desires aside and like sacrificing things to make somebody else as happy as possible and feel as safe and secure as possible is ultimately a way more rewarding feeling. You. you don't get that. And I do feel safe and secure. Nice. At Jessica Faust, one, two, three, four. What is your favorite holiday? Oh, she must be Canadian. She spelled it correctly. <gasps> she did! Thanks, Jessica Faust. One, two, Tur. three, four. Just Foster. No, there's no turn. Yeah, there is. Fost. Oh, well, yeah, her are at. I know, Easter. but anyway. What's your favorite holiday, girl? Christmas. I can't Christmas. turn the camera because it's precariously stacked on top of a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a homemade stand. It's a homemade it's stand. Camera it's stand. pretty tight. But I would show you if it was easy that our house looks like Christmas threw up in here, so. It's great. All right. Christmas. Yeah, both of us, I'd say. Yeah. What do you, well, what do you think? No, Christmas. Yeah. And then Easter. Easter is great, though. Yeah. It's very, very, very close second. Yeah. <clears throat> At Amanda underscore Scarborough. Scarborough. <laughs> uh, what is, what is one thing you want to do before you die? Have babies. Have babies. Yeah, that's a good, that's a that's good That's my answer. That's a good answer, man. What's your answer? Uh, Fly an airplane. I've done that. Mm. Uh, I'm doing all kinds of things. I am. Um, have kids is, is definitely up there. Um, I'm trying to think of something else that I want to like go and go do. somewhere and do. You've like been everywhere in the world and done like a bunch of stuff. Like, like a lot of people be like, go to the Olympics. 
Well, that's hard to just say I want to do that before I die. You have to work really hard for a long time to get there. A yeah, lot of times at like a young a age. But a lot of times... Yeah, but I'm like, oh, I don't know. I want to I wanna go and... I don't know. I just want to like have my passport stamped sometime. <laughs> I've got one lonely Canada stamp in there. That's it. I'm like the lamest person ever in the world. You so travel. I need to get out there and see some stuff. Great, we'll strap Just the baby on our front and go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that leads into the next question by RG. There's a lot. Of, look how many E's. E. Plans for kids? Question mark. Yes. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nothing else can be said. Melanier. Melanie R. Thirteen twenty one. Oh, sorry. Thirteen twenty one. What is your favorite Christmas movie? This is such a hard question. Isn't it? It is, but I really love Elf. Yeah, I do. I like. There's so, like Jack Frost is great. Polar Express yeah. is great. Christmas with the Cranks is hilarious. National Lampoon's Vacation is Christmas really good. There's so many. There are so many. I think without you know without Elf. fail, Elf. I think for me, like a without fail, like watch it as many times. I don't care. It's Home Alone. Oh, Home Alone, duh. For and yeah. Home Alone too. Like those two, those I can just watch on repeat. Yeah. Just back to back. To oh, back. my turn, right? And that's all the questions that I've got. At E L L Grecode. El Grecode. We know this person. He's <laughs> a good friend of mine. How do you keep it so real? You know, you communication. Just, well, yeah. I was okay. You're going serious answers. You're going goofy. I'm saying communication. <laughs> what are you going to say? I don't even know. That was a problem. I didn't have anything queued up. Yeah. Dang. I mean, there, this is like a jokey, a jokey question. It's not like a. Is it though? Mm -hmm. Jokey. It's Why is he so jokey? It's jerky. But we keep it real because we're just. Keep it real. I, that's actually that's the answer. How do you keep it real? Is by keeping it real. Honest. Honesty. Okay, and then... Why do you like, feel like that was a fake answer? I'm just kidding. That was so real. It is. You have to be real with each other. If you don't, if you're not and you fake and you try and put on a good front, it's just not going to work. And you're going to get exhausted and it's going to be boring as anything. It's true. If you want to be with somebody that you don't have to change a single thing about yourself. Yeah. If you have to change something about yourself in order for that person to like you, it's not going to work. It's not worth it. You will change in a relationship. That's okay if you do change as long as it's not to make the other person like you more. Change is okay. The Hey Good House. Fellow YouTubers, you should check them out if you haven't. Um, what's your favorite misspelled? Oh, come on. No, you. What's your fave or it thing about Christmas? That is literally the hardest question ever to answer. Your favorite thing about Christmas? I mean, I love the whole Jesus side of it because it's most important to me. But I love like Christmas trees and I love lights and I love baking and I love movies. And everyone just has a little extra spring in their step. Do they? Spring in your step. I think a lot of people get really just miserable at Christmas mm -hmm. and don't have a spring in their step. Well, you see, I'm from Canada and everyone's happy. Okay, well. <laughs> That's not true. I'm just saying like, the like spirit, the atmosphere. I just love that whole. It's thing. the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. Okay. And then, what is the meaning behind Grayson's tattoos from at Mo Hurley One? We get this all the time. Do it, baby. People write comment on this all the time. Really? Yeah, but you're supposed to answer not me because it's not my tattoo. Well, uh, my show in there. My square is um something that another friend of mine has as well. Uh, and it's just like representative of the box that I'll never fit in. Like, it's a creative person type thing. Basically, always just a reminder of like, being out, like thinking differently and thinking outside the box and not, um, and kind of like not being okay with stereotypes that may be made about you, whether that's, you know, the, the stereotype somebody might make about you because of where you come from, or your background, or your ethnicity, or advantages or disadvantages you've had in your life, 
just always that reminder of like, don't become okay with being put in that box, um, no matter what box someone tries to put you in. Um, you know, if, if you don't want to be in that box, you don't have to be. And um, just like encouragement, I guess, to always think differently, be different. And my other one is, it's a connect the dots uh, cross, which is like a kind of a metaphor from James uh, chapter two where it talks about faith without works is dead. Um, and talking about that in the sense of not working to earn faith, but just showing, living out your faith, essentially, like showing your faith by what you do and how you live your life. Um, so it's just kind of like a metaphor for that because you can like actually draw it and finish it. Yeah. I finished it. I was the first one to you connect were. the dot. You were. And that's the at Elena Dawson, Elena S. Dawson says. What the S stands for? Samantha. Samantha. For sure. Sarah. Oh, maybe. That's all I got. Wow. Okay. Favorite gymnastics memory? Oh, uh, it was probably the time. <laughs> Go, you did gymnastics too. Go. No, no, what was your favorite memory? Go, they want to know. I was making a joke. Well, what is it? I want to know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. When you placed when you competed at Nationals. When I competed at Nationals, it was pretty great. Okay, you know what? Go keep going. I, like I get it. it. I get it. I'm a scrub. You're not a scrub. There You're was scrub. one time where I, <laughs> our gym got um, a new trampoline, and it was like this huge, exciting thing. And like we were all lined up outside the door, you know, getting ready to go into the gym. And we were like, why can't we just go? Open the door and like move in, like there's a new family in there. And it literally felt like Christmas because, <laughs> like, in our house there was like hallway and then like a door that we would always, a closet door that we would always open because it blocked the living room. So, like, we would literally line up behind the door, like, getting ready to go in Christmas morning, and then like that, we'd open that door up and then we could go in for Christmas. And so, it, that just made that Anyways, Wait, the joke turned into a real memory. I like, just got confused because I thought you were saying a gym at. You got a trampoline at your gym. You mean you got a trampoline for your house? No, at our gym. Oh, and the lining up behind the door was like so lining up the door behind the Christmas. Gym. Yeah. Got it. Okay. My favorite gymnastics memory. The real source of the question. <laughs> well, I mean, there were a lot of great things. There were a lot of not so great things that I remember. But when we won nationals um, in 2010, my our UCLA team won. And that was the best. Because it, we won it as a team. It's fun to win individual things, but it's like, whatever. Yeah, I worked hard and I got there, but when you work hard as a team, it's so much more fun. And it's harder. It's harder to work hard as a team because a lot of different people, a lot of different personalities and opinions and perspectives. And you so, gotta do well. yeah. Yeah, so 2010 UCLA National Champion, go Bruins, was the best. Number 108? 105. We were number 105. Now we're at 114. You said UCLA has 114 national championships. Oh. Okay, that might have been my last one. Oh boy, we're out of questions. That was it for now. I didn't give good, didn't get very much notice, but that was perfect. Yeah, we like we kind of put the video together. I'm like, man, we do not have much footage. So we're like, you know what? Let's do a Q and A. Q and A. Meet the Nulls more. Yeah, get to know them more. Yeah. So. Um, that's all I got. But more to come. Oh, these next couple There'll be Kansas be City footage. Oh, that turned into a yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, peeps. Hope you all have a great week. Finish strong at work if, or school yeah. or whatever you're doing. School, work, you're almost there. Don't check out almost yet. Christmas. Don't Good advice. Out. Thank you. Don't check out yet. Bye, peeps. <laughs>